Arduino has a really cool set of functions called serial. And what they do is they let you send information from the Arduino back through the USB cable to your computer. And you can then see the information on your computer. This is really cool because you can have your Arduino do things like send you messages. And you can also use it in debugging and writing your program. So let me show you what I mean. First of all, let's have the Arduino send us a message. I'm going to write a line of code inside this void setup function, which remember that runs once when the Arduino first turns on. I'm going to start by writing serial with a capital S and then a dot. Then I'm going to write print. Then I'm going to put a set of round brackets and a semicolon because print is the function. You might notice the format here is kind of like awesome dot and then do something. Instead of using the awesome shield library, this one uses the serial one. So inside this print function, we can put some text inside quotes. I'm going to put hello. Let's upload this to Arduino and see what happens. Once it's uploaded, you need to click this little magnifying glass in the top right hand corner, which will say serial monitor when you mouse over it. If you click that, it'll open up a new window. Then your Arduino should say hello. You might notice there are some extra characters here at the beginning. That's because when you open this window, the Arduino resets, and sometimes you get a few extra characters in there. No problem, don't worry about it. Okay, now that we've printed a message, let's try printing a number. So I'm going to type serial print, and then I'm going to put a number as an input. Note that I'm not putting the number in quotes, I'm just putting it in as a number. This is important because if you put something in in quotes, the Arduino sees it as text, and if you put something in without quotes, the Arduino sees it as some kind of a value, like a number or a variable. All right, let's try uploading again and see if our 5 comes up on the screen after hello. Okay, so I'm going to open the serial monitor again. Remember, that's the little button in the top right. Great, so it says hello, and then there's a 5. Now, this stuff is going to be easier to read if I put hello and 5 on different lines in this little window. See how right now hello and 5 are on the same line. What I can do is add ln after print for print line, which tells the Arduino, OK, print this thing to the serial, and then sort of hit enter in the serial connection, make a new line. Let's see what that looks like. Great. Now in my serial window, it prints hello, and then it prints 5 on a new line. OK, there are just a couple more things I want to show you with serial. One is that you can actually print a variable. So if I create a variable called number, and I set it equal to, let's say, 23, Here, I can then type serial.println, brackets and then a semicolon, and in here, I'm going to put the name of the variable. Anyway, you put a name of a variable, the Arduino replaces that name with the value that the variable currently has. So let's see what this does. Fantastic. It prints hello and 5, just like it did before. And then in a new line, it prints the number 23. And that's because our variable number is currently equal to 23. OK, now I'm going to show you one more trick. Inside the void loop, I'm going to write serial.print. Now here, instead of putting a number or a variable, I'm actually going to take a reading from the awesome shield. So I'm going to write awesome.nov.reading. 
if this isn't something you're comfortable with, you should check out the knob page in the documentation section on the website in references. Now what this function should do is get a reading which represents the current position of the knob. It'll tell me if the knob is farthest in a counterclockwise direction, it'll be 0. Farthest clockwise, it'll be 1023. So what this function here, awesome knob reading, should do is tell us what the current value of the knob is. Let's try it out in on the Arduino and see if it works. Okay, so it looks like I'm getting a whole bunch of zeros. I'm going to try moving the knob on the Arduino and see what happens. Okay, so now I'm not getting zeros anymore, but I can't really read the numbers because I didn't do print lines, so they're all getting jumbled together. Let's try this again, but with print ln. Uploading again. And let's see what comes out in our serial window. Okay, so now you can see each zero is on its own line. And if I increase the value, I'm getting numbers that are expected from 0 to 1023 at the ends. And in between, I'm getting numbers in the middle. So this is great. This is telling me exactly what position the knob is in all the time. This is a really helpful trick if you are trying to figure out what's going on in your sketch and you need to know what value a variable is currently at. Or if, for example, you want to do something with a light sensor and you want to know what reading the light sensor gets when it's just sitting in the room without a light shining on it particularly or without being covered up. We could change this to light sensor reading. Upload that. So it seems like my light sensor reading just sitting on my desk where it is, the light sensor on the awesome shield is somewhere around 50 or 60. If I cover it up with my finger, it goes down to almost zero. And if I shine a light on it using my phone, it goes up to almost a thousand. So whenever you need to sort of peek inside what the Awesome Shield and Arduino are up to, see what a value is, you can send that information back to yourself from the Arduino via serial and see it on your computer.